One of the best video game secrets ever, in my opinion, is the mystery of Tunic's Mountain Door and the golden path required to open it. And although it is necessary for the true ending, in a game composed so heavily of secrets, this doesn't diminish its impact at all. But for those of you who do not wish to solve it entirely on your own, let this video serve as your guide. I've broken it into logical chapters to hopefully help you avoid any information you may want to uncover on your own. We begin at the Golden Obelisk, where by inputting the D-pad code up left, down right, down left, up right, a page of the manual appears. Page 48 hints at the fairy puzzle, however, it's page 49 and, after finding it in the Great Library, page 50 that launches our quest. Somehow, this strange golden parchment, full of numbers and that resembles a sort of game board, is connected to the door at the top of the mountain. And, just like our in-game avatar, we sit, stumped. What could it possibly mean? Until later in the game, when we acquire the teleport dash, and page 22, which clues us in to one very important detail. What's the next piece of the puzzle? Every page has a secret, even this one. But even if you haven't painstakingly translated the game's runic language, the important detail I mentioned is this, which signifies that each individual numbered space on this board corresponds with a page number. And now the golden path presents itself to us. With the line below 12 as our starting point, we have to map our way through this game board by finding golden lines on each of these pages and then fitting them together like a jigsaw puzzle. And now I'm going to go through each of these pages, but you can skip to chapter 5 if you just want the solution. If you want to solve this for yourself, I recommend graph paper, or you could even take a screenshot of this page and write on it in a paint program. Anyway, here we go. The golden path on page 12 can be seen by zooming into this box. Now think of this box as the same as box 12 on page 49, and then keep note of the lines traveling through it. See where we're going with this? We're going to be tracing a path through every box on this page until we get to an end point. Anyway, moving on. This one's a little bit tricky, but the path actually travels behind the info boxes on this page. Here, I'll trace the path on screen right now. It just goes down, through here, then all the way up, and across. Here we just follow the golden bridge left from Frog's Domain, then down and all the way around up to the overworld. On page 46, we can see the path right here above the book. Page 26, right down here. Now, on page 22, we have to follow this yellow line in a zigzag around the boxes. Then, all the way up, and all the way across. Page 15's path is, again, behind the info boxes, but otherwise pretty easy to follow. Page 27 can be a stumbling block for some. The path itself sticks out well enough, but the shorter golden line intersecting it is a strike through. So, this path actually translates to up, up. This next one is actually pointed out right to us. Page 11's is disguised as this suspiciously shaped line. Page 21 is the hints and clues page, and the path here is staring us right in the face, while the path on page 4 tries to hide itself in the small details. Again, remember that a strike through represents a stop, so this one is up, right, right, down. The one on page 50 can be pretty difficult to see, but if we focus on the stones, then we can just make out this design. At the top of page 6, we'll find this one. At the top of page 52, we'll find this one. And then there's another kind of tricky one on page 42. As long as we remember to look for yellow, though, it shouldn't be too difficult to figure out. The path on page 33 hides in the clouds. Again, that small line is a strike through, so this path is down right, down left, left. The path on page 31 hides on this column. And now we get to my personal favorite, because not only is this a virtual instruction manual, but these are virtual coffee or tea stains, and those stains actually hide a puzzle piece. Brilliant. On page 18, we have to look carefully for this faint yellow line. Again, there's a strike through between the 100 and 300. Page 44's golden path can also be a little hard to see, but it's the lighter yellow line along the pattern etched in the door. It's down, down, left, up, right, up, left. With only a few more left, we have this one right up here. And then definitely the trickiest of the bunch on page 9. Scour this page as much as you want, and you still won't find a golden path sequence on it. However, our little friend here is giving us a pretty big hint. 
if after acquiring page 9, you turn to that page, quit to the main menu, then select load game, and then in here you press cancel, and then load game again, as long as you're past the point in the game where you're a phantom and you've returned to living form, this very curious new save file will appear in your list of saves, containing over 509 million gold and a thousand hours played. Yeah. Loading the save will place us in a strange new location with a, you guessed it, piece of the golden path painted on the floor. That piece being, up left up right right up left up. This entire area is just one big infinite loop, existing purely to give the player this piece of the golden path. Or is it? We'll actually be returning to this save in a later video exploring a completely different secret. For now, let's complete the golden path with page 55, which happens to be the back cover of the manual. And if you piece every page together, the entire golden path looks like this. And if it wasn't already apparent, what all of this actually translates to is a large series of D-pad inputs, which the game refers to as the Holy Cross, beginning at the bottom center of the page and ending in square 55. After solving all of this, we head, once again, to the door at the top of the mountain, where it's time to now input this atrociously long sequence. And then... The door opens in a magnificent display of geometry, and we can now advance higher up the mountain. Our prize for completing this amazing puzzle? The front cover and page one of the instruction manual, which awards an achievement if it's the final page collected and unlocks the true ending of the game. Moreover, page one is vital for solving the next secret I'll be delving into, the 12 secret treasures of Tunic. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.